What's going on everyone? Hope you're all doing well. Um, if this is the first video that you've basically seen from my channel, welcome. But if you've been a subscriber for a while now, welcome back. I'm, I mean, I haven't really made a video for a couple months um, because as some of you might know, I primarily cover LEGO Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga content news updates. And uh, yeah, there really hasn't been anything for that. So I've been kind of like, uh, no, don't really want to make a video and you know, not really feeling it, not really sure what to make a video about um, because there's just nothing about the game coming out. And I was kind of holding off for the Game Awards, you know, last week or two weeks ago, whenever this video comes out. And um, it's just, n nothing ever came out. So I'm like, I got to make a video before the year ends because I, I, just, I just have to. Um, so I thought, It'd be a good video to do a tier maker or a ranking of Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga characters. Um, as you can see, I got the, the tiers, six tiers, S through F tier. It's pretty common for these tier maker things. Um, I was really kind of... I, 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 I didn't really want to put an F tier on the list because... I, come on, it's, it's, it's The Complete Saga. It's classic. Um, all of these character designs are awesome. A lot of them we still don't have actual minifigs for, which just is crazy to begin with. Um, but I'm like, uh, I don't know. I just didn't really want to put an F tier, but then I'm thinking about it, and I kind of scrolled through the list before I started recording this video, and I'm like, uh, there's there's just a couple characters that they don't they don't serve really any purpose, and um, you know, I they're probably just they deserve F tier to be honest. Uh, and then I also thought about doing like a meme tier. Um, cause there's quite a few characters that are kind of memeable or, you know, kind of are iconic for being a meme at this point, but I'm like, I'm just going to put them where I want to put them. You know, if you have a problem, whatever. Uh, but if I put a meme in S tier, I don't want to hear about it in the comments. All right. To start things off, we're going to start with Forlom. Um, I'm going to kind of group some of these, so I might kind of skip ahead in the video at some points, but Forlom, um, He's in that kind of bounty hunter category. There was like five or six of them. Uh, they had their own missions in the complete saga, which I really quite enjoyed those. Um, but, you know, I would probably put him somewhere in the middle, like C or B, but we're just going to go C now and maybe I'll, um, you know, kind of want to rearrange them. All right, Aelis Kira. So another thing with these Jedi, they they have very similar force abilities. Um... So I might just kind of be ranking them on their overall design, likability of the character, so on and so forth. Um, so, I mean, honestly, Aayla Sakura, uh, I'll put her in B tier. Admiral Akbar, that's a trap, uh, B tier. Uh, Kid Anakin, doesn't do anything, very annoying, just basically crawls through spaces. Not really F tier, but D tier for sure. All right, Force Ghosts. Um, Probably some of the most expensive characters in the game, if I remember correctly. I think they cost like a million studs each or something. Um, automatically, S tier. Same thing, uh, episode 3, Anakin. Uh, basically same character, just a little bit different. And I'll put him in uh, A tier because I am a fan of Anakin. So, you know. Alright, episode 2, Anakin, uh, B tier. These droids, they're basically all the same. C tier. Somewhat of a meme, we got the beach stormtrooper. I will put him in B for beach. Alright, we got uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, I will put him in B tier 2. And then, of course, for Force Ghost version is going to go automatically in S tier. Best Vanguard, D. Doesn't really do anything. Bib Fortuna, D. Um, Kid Boba, D. Alright. So, as a kid, or whenever I basically played the game, I really enjoyed playing as Boba Fett. So, for, for me, I always had him as part of my characters in free play. So, for that, I'm going to go ahead and give him the S tier. Uh, Bosk, once again, like the other bounty hunters, uh, I'll go ahead and put him in C tier. I kind of kind of group them together. All right, Boss Nass. <laughs> Boss Nass, I mean, I want this character. As a Lego minifigure. I mean, I do. I think it's over time. I know Lego doesn't like to make episode one figures or sets or just prequel sets alone, but I mean, come on. It's been like 22 years. Just give us a boss Nass figure. D tier. C3PO, um, I don't know. He's useful, but I mean, he doesn't really serve a purpose. He doesn't really fight. Um, I will put him in B tier for now, just for nostalgia. Captain Antilles, C tier. 
this guy from episode one, C tier. Uh, I, I, I'm not even gonna talk about that one. Uh, Palpatine, C tier, very useless. Uh, Chewbacca, I'll put Chewbacca in B tier. I, I, I'm, I'm not gonna get any hate in the comments for that one, I don't think. All right, next up, what I was talking about with the droids, the clone troopers. They're all very cool, all have cool designs. Um, I, I'm gonna do something kind of maybe controversial. I'm just gonna put them all in C tier, except for the OGs. B tier, and all the other ones, I'll put Cody in B tier too, because I like his, um, his pistols. Count Dooku, A tier. Uh, Darth Maul, S tier. Darth Vader, S tier. I don't even have to talk about those two. If anything though, I gotta be honest, Darth Vader, is gonna go in S tier above Darth Maul, just cause he has amazing abilities and he's always in my free playlist along with Boba Fett. So it is what it is. Moving on, um, D tier, again, Bounty Hunter, C tier. Dexter, definitely not F tier, but I mean, he's not really a character. So D tier, uh, again with clones, C tier. Droidica, uh, I'll put it in a B tier. It's, it's, it's better for the droids. Ewok, D tier. This guy, annoying as hell. I'm super tempted to put him in F. If you play the Jabba's Palace level, you will know how freaking annoying this guy is. Uh, but Gamorrean Guards, D tier. General Grievous, S tier, without a doubt. Geonosian, mm, C tier. Gonk, Gonk Droid, S tier. All right, this is what I was talking about earlier in the video. I'm, there is no meme category. But for a complete saga, Gonk Droid, you can't really get a better meme. Maybe you can, I don't know, but that's the one that always comes to mind for this game. You know, just going around the map and you hear Gonk, Gonk, Gonk. So for that, S tier, okay? S tier. Whatever. Uh, pfft, I, really? Come on. Uh, C tier. Greedo. Mm, C tier. Magna Guard. Uh, I will give him... A tier. Now we got every single variant of Han Solo. I will put the regular Han Solo at B tier. I mean, all these other ones, <sighs> see, that's the thing. Like I've been grouping these things together. So like all the droids are in the same category. Like the, the most of the clones are in the same category. So like I'm tempted to put all these other ones in B tier, but th they are all basically the same character, more or less with the same abilities. So I was gonna put them all in C tier. I think this is supposed to be IG-88. And uh, he has a really cool sound, um, kind of like with the gonk droid. He, whenever you play as him, he'd be like, ar -ar 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 -ar. Um, I think that's pretty accurate. Um, but once again, just kind of C tier, run of, the, run of the mill. Could be B tier, but they're kind of in between, so I'll just put him in C tier. <sighs> this was another guy that was kind of annoying in episode six levels. Um, I like the design though, so I'm gonna put it in B tier. All right, these two Imperials, C tier, why not? Imperial Spy, C tier. Indiana Jones, I'm gonna go S tier. Uh, Jango Fett, another one of those things I was saying. Uh, I prefer Boba Fett, but basically same character, same design, different color scheme, a little bit different uh, weapon abilities, but definitely A tier for sure. Jar Jar Binks, gonna go right here next to my other man in D tier. Jawa, I'm gonna put him in D tier for now, but I'm very tempted to put him in F tier. You know what, I put Ayla Secura in B tier, so I'm gonna put him right next to her. Is this, is this Tanwi? I'm not sure, I think there's two of them, but uh, just, oh God. We need, a mini, we, need, we need a minifigure of this too, if we ever get a Kamino set, but I'm just gonna put D, D tier. Lando Calrissian, uh, he's such a cool character, but I think I have to put him in B tier for now. Lando Calrissian, same thing, C tier. Definitely, no, no, D tier. All right, now we get to all the loot characters. So for those of you that don't know or don't remember, um, every character of Luke is different basically from the character of Han Solo. Character of Han Solo, they basically all have the same weapons, abilities. With Luke, it's different because he basically gains his force powers throughout uh, the different episodes or the different films and every character basically corresponds to what happens in the film. So of course episode 4 Luke is basically pointless. He just has a blaster, um, a grappling hook. So he's gonna go C tier. Stormtrooper Luke, C tier. Alright, episode 5. Uh, it wasn't until the end uh, where he kind of got his abilities, but if I'm being honest, 
Episode six, Luke is my favorite. Uh, Hoth, Luke can go C tier. Um, Endor can go C tier, but I, I'm gonna have to put the episode six version, especially cause he can force choke, oh my God, um, in A tier. All right, next, another Jedi. All right, Mace Windu. I think I think they're both gonna go, have to go B tier too because he doesn't really have anything special compared to the other Jedi other than just the purple lightsaber. Episode three Obi Wan is gonna go right here. Episode three holds a special place in my heart, uh, but you know all the other Obi Wan's are probably gonna go B tier. I gotta be honest, Padme, just kind of B tier. While we're at it, I'll just I'll, I'll go ahead and put I'll, I'll go ahead and put her S tier. I mean A tier. Amazing outfit. If you have the minifigure, you know it's an amazing minifigure. I own it. I'm lucky enough to own it. Uh, one of my favorite, amazing design. Doesn't do that much, but just the design of it, it has to go in A tier. Uh, this guy, Jabba's Palace, he's a guard, D tier. All right, now the ne these next two. This is, this is, these two are what made me put an F ranking in this list. I'm gonna be honest, Pidroid, and whatever the hell this is. Uh, Plo Koon, I really like his design, um, but B tier. Once again, Leia is kind of right here for me, along with Padme. Very similar characters, similar abilities. Um, you know, nothing against the designs of the characters or their abilities, but they, they're they just, they don't, they don't do a whole lot. Qui-Gon Jinn, I ain't gotta say nothing. He's going in A tier. I have to put R2-D2 right next to C-3PO. It'd be a crime if I didn't, but these other ones, they're just gonna go in C tier. All right, next we got the Rebel Trooper from episode four. It, 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 it's C tier, you know? It's it, they're ju it's, it's just it's just a regular character. I'm being honest, regular character. Nothing special about them. These next ones are regular characters. I put him in D tier, whatever, C tier. I'm gonna put this guy in D tier though, cause I am gonna hate on episode one for just a second. Stormtrooper, I, I I feel like I gotta put him in B tier. This guy, this poop face guy, D tier. Snowtrooper, I'm gonna put him in B tier too because I, I, I have a soft spot for all the troopers. Um, I'm not sure what the difference is between this Stormtrooper and this Stormtrooper. Um, so I'm just gonna put this one in C tier because I don't really remember what it is. This has to go B tier. If I put the Droidica in B tier, I have to put this guy in B tier. He's definitely better than the regular battle droids. All right, next we got the other Kaminoan cloning expert. I'll put them next together at D tier. Uh, another droid, TC-14. I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have to go C tier for this one too. Palpatine, A character. I, I'm gonna put him in A. Um, he he moves very slow. He's kind of like Yoda. He moves slow, so I'm I'm gonna put him in A for now. Uh, pilot C tier, Tuscan Raider C tier, uh, Ugnot F tier. I'm sorry, Watto uh, D tier, Wicket. Uh, I think Chief Tarful. Where I put I put Chewbacca in B. I'm gonna put Tarful in C tier. All right, next two Yodas. We're getting very low on the list. If I put Palpatine in A, I have to put Yoda in A2. They're very similar. They move slow, like I said, but Force Ghost is definitely gonna go in uh, S tier, without a doubt. And then finally, Zam Wessel. Another kind of run-of-the-mill character with these bounty hunters. I'm gonna put her in C tier. So this is my list right now. I'm gonna kind of review it real quick and then see if I need to change a couple things. I, this is my honest opinion, but I'm also trying not to piss too many people off at the same time. All right, so I took a minute, I looked at the list and I feel like it's pretty good. I don't know, I mean, actually now that I'm looking at it, I put a lot of the, I put a lot of the Han Solos in C tier and I put all these other ones like the Padme and Leia in B tier. I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to pick the best version of each character to keep them in B along with Han Solo and move the rest of the versions into C tier just for some kind of continuity. I Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Going back down to C tier, um, just a lot of kind of standard characters. D tier, these are just kind of, I mean, Jar Jar could move up, but okay, I'm gonna move Jar Jar up to C tier because He's one of the characters that actually has a pretty good double jump and that can be helpful. Uh, D tier, it, they're just kind of annoying characters or they just don't 
they don't really need to be characters in this game at all, rather than NPCs. And then F tier, I mean, I, I, didn't, I didn't have to say anything about these three. Like I said, I didn't want to put this, but they're, they're worse than D, what can I say? So this is my ranking for all of the Complete Saga characters. All right, so which of these rankings would you say is kind of controversial? Do you think some of these characters should be S tier? Do you think some should move up, some should move down? Um, which characters were more nostalgia for you or which characters did you always have in your free play? Let me know down below in the comments. I'm excited to read them, um, kind of see what everyone else is thinking, what they're saying. Uh, this video was pretty fun. It was a lot more laid back than what I normally do. Normally I write a script, um, I review a bunch of stuff, I have all the footage already recorded or downloaded. This is just more kind of laid back video. I kind of liked it. If you like this video, maybe I'll go ahead and do a couple more of these for like the Clone Wars game or the Force Awakens game and then hopefully, hopefully, maybe one day, I can do it for the Skywalker Saga game. That will be a huge tier list. I think like 300, over 300 characters. So I don't, I don't know about that one, but hopefully in the near future. And hopefully we'll find out something about the Skywalker Saga either later this month, probably not until January though, if I'm being honest, if we're gonna still stick to that spring release date. Once again, thanks for watching this video. Hope you all have a great day. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thanks, I'll catch you in the next one.